Last Monday was the Remembrance Day and I went to the Remembrance Day ceremony by the Cenotaph at Whitehall to pay my respects. I was honoured to meet the veteran Paul Jacobs, shake his hand and thank him for his sacrifices. Paul is an amazing man, a big man, really larger than life character. Paul Jacobs has won the George Medal for his bravery in Afghanistan. He was only 20 years old when he lost his eyesight in an explosion in Afghanistan which killed two of his friends. But through his indomitable spirit and incredible courage, he's taken part in new adventures which include boxing against sighted opponents and climbing 10 of the highest mountains in the world. I'll leave a link to his website in the description. Please take a look at it. There was also an amusing story about how Paul lost his berry just before the Remember a Sunday ceremony and um, how it was found again. I'll let Paul himself explain what happened and why his burial meant so much to him. Please watch. So, as I was leaving home, Blazer was on the coat hanger with my burial inside the coat pocket and um, inside my jacket. Unfortunately, as I went to the taxi, my burial had fallen on the floor outside the car and I hadn't realised until I got here at the cemetery yesterday. And uh, it was quite distressing. I got on Facebook and there was a beautiful man called David who was a former raw green jacket who went scouting all around Wimbledon looking for my berry, which is very, very important to me. I've had this berry nearly 20 years now, so... Yeah. So Dave, Dave seen the message on Facebook, on Twitter, lots of people put it out there, lots of people were out there looking for it, so a massive preparation while I was paying my respects to the court. I'm here at the Cenotaph and uh, there was some black cap charity over in Wimbledon looking for my very, very really important. And, t and tell us about how the Berry is. The Berry itself is it represents the regiment that I'm from, what I stand for, and what I've done. But it's what's inside. There's a special coin inside behind the cap badge, which is a silver coin, which I don't know if you can see that on camera. Yeah. 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 So this coin is two sided. On one side is a Neil's Angel. And on the other side, it's hoping that it was given to me by a dear friend from Wendy Dark, who was my school teacher when I grew up in Roundscape. And she told me, you know, I have to go to the army and do this and do that. And I've had that coin with me wherever I've been, whether it be something in Kilimanjaro, going to Chris, going across Norway, marathons, whatever I do, that coin's always with me. So I was quite distressed yesterday. And thank you for the Veteran Taxi Charity who sent out a team to find my burial. And uh, yeah, thank you, David. So you always have that little bit of your hometown with you when you're in the circle? Always. Always. Yeah. And, 